Tyler Geist, Jack here from Pure Creative Designs and in this tutorial we'll be looking at using camera tools in Cinema 4D now as you can see here I have this nice scene set up here with this nice 3D text with the light at the top and a nice um, um, reflective floor and stuff like that and um, I'm going to want to use some camera tools to move around of this scene now now um, the camera tools are really easy to use in Cinema 4D um, a lot easier to use than in something like After Effects so um, that's a plus side now, to start with a camera, as you, as you can see, if we come up here to the light, click and hold down, we can see the camera tool over here. Okay, so once we've got our camera tool, um, what you'd actually have to leave, have to do, like so, is you'd have to manually move this round and keyframe it like that. Now, I don't want to do that. I want to, um, like, use where I'm seeing as I am now to control the camera and uh, it's pretty simple to do so all we have to do is once we're on our camera up here just go to cameras and choose scene cameras and camera now what's that done now is what we're seeing now is the camera so as you can see there's nothing there because what we're looking at now is the camera so whatever we're looking at that's what's going to um, get like keyframe itself it's going to um, look at what you're doing here and put it down into a keyframe to use as like a, on the on the time down here so use as like a movie as a um, type of like a video uh, for all the keyframes moving around. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and we have three different things here. We're just going to be focusing on these two here. This is an automatic keyframe and this is a manual keyframe input. Now, we're going to um, make sure we're on the camera and we're going to choose a um, automatic keyframe. Now, what that does is we can just man we can automatically move it around. It's going to keyframe for us. But just to start it off, I'm going to put a manual keyframe in there. And as you can see there, on naught seconds, we have a keyframe already. So now what we've got to do is we've got to work with what we're going to want the camera to do. Now, for, for this tutorial, I might want it to come in from over at the left here. Now, say, as you can see, it just looks awful there. But if I um, render that, as you can see, I have this nice space here. And I might want it to come into the text like so. Okay. So, so it'll be able to see that. Now, um, so what we can do is we can get wherever we're going to be, so it's at 0 seconds, it's going to be here, so at 0 frames, and um, you can drag across the timeline here, and you, once you move it across the timeline, you're going to move to the next position. So as you can see, we're at 0 keyframes here, and I'm going to drag it to about 40 keyframes. Okay, and I'll come up to my controls at the top here, and I'm going to choose the rotate tool, and I'm going to rotate it round by clicking and just moving my mouse, like so, so you can move it to however you want. I don't mind to face the text like so, and you can always just render it just to make sure you can see what the camera is going to be looking at, so that looks okay. So um, now it's put a key, should have put a keyframe in actually, yeah. okay. And um, let's just have a look what it's done. Let's have a look. So as you can see there, we've got it moving. So let's just play this. As you can see, we have this nice approach into the text, so that's nice. Now um, we could do some more. We could maybe go closer up to the text and um, look through, or we could um, uh, we could maybe go like a move away, or we can um, fly off. It's whatever you want to do now. So um, so for this, maybe I might want to go close. So what I'm going to do for this one is to give it like a like a, a type of effect. I'm going to move it by keyframe. Okay. So what's going to be? It's going to be here one second, right up against the text the next. Now um, that's pretty simple to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to get up um, at 59, 59 frames. Now it's obviously going to differ to what you are. Actually, I'm going to go to 64. And um, once I'm there, I'm going to take the, man the automatic keyframe off, and I'm just going to keyframe it there. And I'm going to go to 65, and I'm just going to get my tool here and move my mouse to the right so it zooms in. And I'm going to zoom in onto the text like so. So we can have a nice like roll through the text. Okay. So I'm gonna go to around the C area about here. Okay. And I'm gonna place in my own keyframe. Okay. So now, as you can see, it's right in there. And uh, it's a nice effect actually. So from there to about 80 keyframes, I'm gonna put the um, automatic keyframe on again. I'm gonna move up to my move tool at the top here and I'm gonna go right across. So it's going from one side of the text to the other like so. So I play this now. As you can see we're right up close and going across. So that's like a nice nice type of effect you could do there. Or if you don't want to do it like that you could just put a keyframe at 55 frames and then one at 65 and it would slowly move in like um, as you can see so, you know sort of nice slow movements. But that's a, that's a nice type of effect that um, I think 
a lot of people would like. So um, yeah, I'm not sure. So I'm going to do the exact same to come out of it. I'm going to go to 81 frames and I'm just going to drag back out. Okay. Like so, so I'm back to where we started. So let's have a look now. With this nice, really fast in, really nice fast back out. Um, on the out bit, actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to um, go to about 90 frames and then I'm going to come back out. Like so. I'm going to come quite low down. Let's see what that looks like there. Yeah, that'll look okay. So, um, about there, let's just have a look. So, it very fast coming into the text, coming across and coming back out. Oops, don't know what's happened there. So, let's just play that now. So, we have the um, camera coming in here, close to the text. Now it's coming up fast, keyframing around and back out again. So, that's our little effect we've done there. Now, if you need to move more space and it's just 90 down here, you can always change this. So, I might want to change it to 150 frames. As you can see, the slider's increased here. We can you know, add more frames in, so um, I might want to have a nice fly off from 90 seconds, so it's going to hold there. So, about 115, so 115 frames. I'm going to place a keyframe down, and then at about 120, I'm going to make it fly uh, maybe just straight through this M here. Let's just go in. Let's go to go right through there. Actually, it's gone off a little bit. Where am I going? So I'm going straight through. So let's have a look what that looks like now. As you can see, we're going straight through. So that's a quite nice thing. We can spread that out a bit. Actually, let's go to about from about 115 to 140, and see it fly straight through. So that's a nice effect. So I'm just going to show you what we've got now. So we have this coming in here, like so, to the camera, and then it's going to go cl up close, come back out and then it's going to go straight through and as you can see it's just gone a bit uh, off there but it would look obviously something like this I'm going to show you the end result now uh, okay I hope you I hope you like that now that was a nice video there and um, if you if you like um, to see more cinema 4D videos definitely subscribe uh, there's going to be a lot more coming up on the, up on the way there's going to be some um, Shattering text, exploding text, all stuff like that's gonna be pretty good. So um stay stay tuned guys, there's gonna be more tutorials on different things. I've got quite a lot of Dreamweaver tutorials actually coming up because all mine are crap and I hate them and I'm um gonna do some more of them. So that's our tutorial on the camera uh, camera 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 tool in um Cinema 4D. Now um yeah, hope you enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter, P Create Designs. See you guys.